I think Naples is just an example of a city where there's poverty and there's um, violence. So it could be in any city. So in that sense, it, it ends up me being a filmmaker trying to uh, film something which matters. And I, 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 my intention was to film simple people. I don't mean it like in a way that they are stupid, but people who didn't cause the problems there and can't solve the problems. And I did, I did, and, and for me as a filmmaker, I wanted to do find those people because exactly the reason there are so many cliches about Naples that I, that made me curious about normal people, although within this context, context, just be, just because of the cliches, it made me curious about stories which I thought are more uh, sincere and 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 get in some way more to the to the bottom or to the what the problem or, or what's going on there and living within these circumstances. So, Na Naples is pure chance. It, it, it could have been Sao Paulo. But I thought I wanted to do a film in Europe and of course uh, 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 I was fascinated first, for instance, by this uh, uh, forensic expert. I, I think this is an intriguing job, you know, to deal with that on a technical way and, and, and what does it mean? So I, I, I said, well, I, I have to find someone who's working in a city where there's a lot of violence. And of course, then was Saviano there and I read his book and I, I spoke to Saviano twice about it before the whole thing exploded with Gamora and his death threats and stuff like that. But uh, in the end, uh, I, I, I just went to Naples and see tried to see if I could do something and from then on it, it developed into this film where I tried to collect more little stories about Naples and, and everything. Once I met him I, I, I understood that it wasn't enough for a film and of course uh, by talking to people in Naples and, and by, by seeing things myself I understood well I should make sort of uh, stories within within a story. So I, I started to collect things what I thought should add up to my feeling of what it means to be in the city, to live in the city. So no, but this is something I like about documentary filmmaking. Uh, it, you should be open for, for surprise and for your own ideas which come up. I mean, that's the big difference between documentary and fiction, of course, you know. In fiction, you have to be controlling, you have to control everything on forehand and in documentary you can let things go and that's beautiful about documentary filmmaking you can just open yourself up and and and, and see what you can get by by pushing and, and looking and asking and so that's why it could go like this yeah with with some a lot i, I spoke a lot with others just 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 on the on a hit and run because uh it's surprisingly how, how, how easily people open up to a stranger, sometimes even more to someone they know. You know, they, they, if, if, if you met someone who are, and asks you if you're happy and it's a stranger, you, you could somehow be more honest to them than to a friend. And that's what hap happens in documentaries often, you know, that you get to know people and they open up because they trust you. Of course there's trust. But trust isn't necessarily something which is measured in time. Trust is also something that is a gut feeling from from the start of you know that you feel well his intentions are are, are are sincere or whatever. So it's not that I did a lot of invest, investment in, in, investments in, 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 in getting to know people so they could open up. No. I speak a little bit Italian, but even if I spoke Italian. In Naples, it's it's out of the question that you can get to, to talk to these people in a way that because some some don't even really talk in Italian. But I had uh, I had I had researches over there. I, I went I went over there for like seven eight times. I think I went there for four times without filming and four times with filming uh, with a camera and a crew. But I I invested a lot. In, in my researches, and that's something uh, which uh, 
the and in, in what you just said about investing in people, I had to invest a lot in my research that they understood what I wanted and that I could come up with people which I thought, well, they have the stories I'm looking, I'm after. And uh, but they were great. They were after a while. They really understood what I wanted. And of course, when you when you're around with people from Naples, they also like okay, he wants uh, to talk to a camorista and. Uh, I said, no, 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 I, I, I'm not interested. The whole, the, the word Camorra doesn't, is not even mentioned in my film. So, once they noticed that I, 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 I wasn't after the cliches, which, I mean, nine out of ten times, crews come up there, well, where's the action, where can we... Uh... So they noticed, okay, there's a guy who wants something different, something else, and slowly he, they, they, they help me out. But they, they play a big role, of course. But interviews, well, they talk and I have a, uh, someone simultaneously translating while interviewing and then I can react to uh, what they say and uh, yeah.